absolutely zero snow behind me and I go through this town and it's drifting like a son of a bitch. So most of this is just from the drift. Uh, I don't know, it's a couple inches maybe deep. So I'm kind of throwing the truck around, but I'm still going, you know, almost 90 through it. But it's just weird. Like we got 70 kilometer an hour winds and uh, the roads are empty. Yeah, so the virus, nobody's driving. Well, I shouldn't say nobody, but I'd say about 20, maybe 30% of the traffic at the most. It's crazy. So, but yeah, I'm still going to work. So, well, right now I'm going home for the weekend, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. And look at this, no snow anymore. It's all because of the drifting snow. Uh, not much for fresh snow by the looks of it out here. A little bit, I guess they got, but yeah, that's kind of crazy. You don't want to be seen with all the smokes in your hand, the stockpiling. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, a, I don't want to go out in public, the people are crazy. A couple other stockpiles here. This is like the only thing I didn't really have. The yeah. So this is just, you know, whatever. Well, to be, we normally buy four or five packs each anyway on weekends to last us for the whole week. But went to got 35 one by sixes by 12 foot. Uh, a little bit of weight on the truck, I would figure, with the, the sand in here, the groceries. The wood. <laughs> uh, Stop playing with your phone and come on. Just looking at the squat. The squat of the truck. It's actually not that bad. Okay, well, we're going to be working on the, the what's it called, uh, pantry, oh. which is meant to be the hoarding pantry for toilet paper, but <laughs> we're a little bit late on that one. So when I say late, I'm joking. We got tons of toilet paper, but I mean, we didn't have time to stock it up fully, but... We got what enough to look. Well, with this food now, we're good for what? Six months? Six months? Yeah, of food. Until the garden starts producing. Yeah. Until it actually hits the fan. Yeah. And the funny thing is, we didn't even get all that left. No. Which is comfort food for the kids. Exactly. As in pizza pops, candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hamburgers. Cheese, hamburgers, a couple things of milk, you know, stuff like that, but... It's uh, crazy, there's almost no milk in the city. No milk in the city out here, everything's here. Toilet paper was loaded to the tits. So, but, okay, well, I might end up doing some plowing today, too, just for fun. We'll see. We went to get a jerry can of gas, too, and uh, we kind of forgot to put the wood on top of the jerry can. <laughs> so, that's not too big of a deal. <laughs> okay, so I got everything in here, so I'm going to start paneling on here. These guys are just about a quarter inch longer than... 12 foot so it should work out perfect drinking no name cola because the coca-cola factory has been uh, compromised you can say so right poo -poo. so i guess we'll have to uh start chopping okay so everything's perfectly level now just had to put a little bit of force on here you can see everything still moves barely but just getting ready to we decided we are going to screw it up to the ceiling two different spots there two spots over there and yeah there will be holes later when we take this apart but not too big of a deal and i'll probably put two screws there did you just no okay a couple spots there and it's good and there's probably about 30 pounds of force on here right now but in every corner is absolutely perfect so because i just touched it i will recheck it well, here's just a quick update here. We're b burning the corners and the bottom one as we go along because we know we can't do it. That one there I kind of forgot. So it's like, meh, I'll put some tin foil behind it, whatever. I'm using this guy here as a jig just to be able to line up the boards as we go along to make sure they're not sticking out too far. And uh, using drywall screws, yes, drywall screws to hold them in place. Uh, pushing down on them. They're lining up pretty good. It's going to be nice and solid. Uh, a couple bad boards. Everything was frozen in a big clump, so we couldn't really go through too many of them. But uh, I don't know. I think it'll go good. But also, don't look at that. Yes, yes. That's where the door frame's going. I never had one solid board to go across. So, yeah. This is all going to be framed in with the door frame. You'll never see it. But this way, I can have a solid board across. I also screwed it to the ceiling here, over there right there and around the corner and uh whole thing's rock solid perfectly level so once that's all burnt it'll look pretty decent kind of looks like a what do you call it a sauna yeah <laughs> you 
you come in to inspect poo poo? No? Okay, well, again, it's just a random project, but we are going to sand it some more before we uh, finish burning it, but it'll be hard to sand or burn in those corners. Oh, well, there's one wall done. So, again, the only spot I didn't burn is down there. And uh, as you guys see, I just trimmed out that corner, and there's a gap there, but that's going to be hidden with a baseboard kind of like that, even though that one looks like shit and it doesn't even do anything. But it's going to be the same idea. I'm going to reframe from there some kind of baseboard material all the way around, and then the same material is probably going to replace that stuff. We'll see. Well, I just thought I'd do an update here. So, got this side all pretty much done. Need some final sanding to make it look good. But that's up. Yes, we got to do the top. I'm probably going to take this board off and go one solid piece. Then, clearly, I'm going to have to do some kind of trim around it. But I got some uh, 1x4 material to do that. Remember, I'm also going to be putting wood going this way up to that pole all the way down. And then there's going to be some corner shelves put in there. And uh, just designing in my noggin uh, what we're going to do here. So the idea is most likely we're going to go wood from there up to the door frame. Take off that old metal screen door frame. Uh, this one here is going to go out. And then above the freezer, we're going to have uh, probably a cabinet or a shelving unit up here. So it's going to be pretty good. So I know. Ooh. Did my phone just glitch or was that my mind? Ooh, I feel dizzy. Anyway, uh, up there, I know that looks like shit, but it's because I only had one two by three. So, yeah, that has to be changed a little bit. Uh, got the plug moved into there. That's all notched out, so when I put my board across it, I'm still going to rape wire. It's at the bottom, so I'm not going to be putting a metal cover on it or anything. But maybe I will somewhere in here. I got stud protectors, so if I find one, I'll probably put one on there, but other than that, I don't know, you can see some gaps, if you guys see right there, there's a little bit of a gap on that one, uh, didn't really notice that until it was kind of too late, but not too big of a deal, they line up close enough, and uh, again, it's kind of doesn't look the nicest right now. But once I smooth in these corners off, it'll probably look pretty good. Supervisor Poodle on site. So that wall's done. Of course, there's still the gap at the back there. Now, because of the slant of the roof, the cutout that I cut out from up, up there would actually fill in that. But I don't want multiple pieces. I'm just going to split one of these all the way down to make baseboard material. Because definitely needs it on this side. And I don't want to use a full 1x4 up there. I think it would look a little funky. <laughs> but I mean, it, it could be done with a full 1x4. Cut the ends nice. But definitely need to fix that trim that the old owners put up there. Because it is, uh, how do you say, ugly. Now, is that from the building shifting? I did have to reseal all the floor underneath there. The whole line, there used to be a gap like that. I think it's just when this building was moved to this location when I bought it. I thinking that it's uh, just that they never fix that. So, okay, I guess I'll get to work doing that front side and the top. And I still think I'm going to change out that to a solid piece, so I don't need all that ugly blocking up there. But we'll see. <laughs> well, you know the one bad thing about getting wood that has been sitting outside. Look at this gap here. You guys see the gap all the way across? Those weren't in there when I put these boards in place. So, not so much right here. But I'm just looking yesterday when I did this. You guys see the gap? You can see right through there. That's a full gap. Nothing's touching at all. That's all from the wood shrinking. Because I actually sanded down anywhere that was close to touching. <laughs> eh, they just shrunk uh, a little bit. I wasn't expecting this to be that wet. But... You know, some of them were frozen together. But I'm okay with that. Kind of gives it a unique look. That's where the tongue and groove would have been a bit nicer, but we couldn't find any, so. Okay, so I guess I was right. We should have actually let this stuff just sit for a couple weeks inside. I said that right at the beginning of the video, hey? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it just means we'll be able to see if the light's on in there. That's all. Well, stage one is complete. Got the boards up. I'm still upset about how they all shrunk. Literally, these were touching each other, guaranteed when they were screwed in. It's just that wood. Wood. Are you eating wood? Proxy. What are you? You wrecked my video. Yeah, you leave that wood alone. You can't eat that. No. So, got this all done. This wall here just kind of sticks out here. You can see, got this area here. I still need to do this wall because the freezer goes in here. So you can see it's the perfect size for where it sticks out. Freezer could go back even a bit more. No, no, proxy. I think I better take care of this first. So anyway, now the proxy's gone. I got a few other things to touch up on it. Like there's a gap, uh, where was it? Right here. So I just got to put another screw in there. Not too big of a deal. Just get that a little bit tighter. And other than that, we're going to be using one by four material across here. It's up there. That's going to be the frame for the door. Got a few other little sanding that I got to do where they overlap. So I'm just going to be taking probably the grinder with a flap just kind of smooth round off these corners. We are going to be doing the burnt finish. Up at the top right there, I'm going to be probably cutting a baseboard to go over it because I got to change that piece anyway. Uh, leftover wood is going to be used for shelving above the freezer. And I'm also going to be paneling that wall to put some corner shelves between here. But only high enough that it would be above the head of couches. So kind of the same idea as this. I did burn all the way along the bottom. Along the walls. Just so I don't accidentally catch fire to anything but this area here starting about right here i'm going to have uh probably three different shelves this will be an area for probably the dirt bike helmets motorcycle helmets stuff like that just stuff that doesn't need to be in here as you can see it's pretty packed up this is meant to be food storage but uh we just haven't moved it in here there's some stuff in bins and stuff uh dog food everything's under there but the idea is come Whenever I could get rid of all this stuff here is I'm going to probably extend that desk out up to here and uh, another workbench uh, and a few other projects, but not too sure what else is going on this weekend, but I'm going to guess this is pretty much it because it's already Sunday. So yes, they didn't line up the boards the nicest at the top here, but I mean, they work. We will be sanding everything again and uh, going from there, but eh, it looks pretty decent. Again, I wanted to go for more of a rustic style look than tongue and groove. And because I couldn't find tongue and groove. <laughs> but we will live with gaps where you can see light on in between these. Not too big a video. Okay, that's the end of this. And uh, as for the fireplace or wood stove project, I'll probably be doing that more next winter. Not going to touch anything else on it this year. And just a little bolt in this thing here. 12.6 volts in the battery. No, load 2.7. Not too bad. No power coming in because it's dark, but the thought I'd mentioned had this on for, oh, probably close to 45 minutes. And uh, super bright in here. Solar panel has been working awesome. So just thinking of projects, that's about it. Uh, Honda Odyssey stuff. Scythe. Yeah, that's an oldie. I know you guys can't see it with the bright light behind it, but yeah, maybe you can see it some more there. Needs a little work. A couple of these guys down here, which shouldn't have sat in the sand over winter, but they did. So, uh, looking for stuff to work on for projects. And still thinking this year I might uh, blow out this entire wall, because this is like a false wall. It's not necessary. And add a second peak going this way to double the space in here. Make it so I can at least haul something in here and work on it. Well, this is neat. So everything's all frosty and cold out here today, but I'll get my crockets. A little frosty is right. But uh, it's now Monday morning, and uh, it's 
still going to work. As of right now, we only have 20 cases of the virus in the city, so I'll be going to work still. But, burr, it's a little chilly out here today. But yeah, I'll still be going to work once we hit probably about 100 cases or so. I'll be taking some time off. <laughs> but yeah, it is all frosty. I mean, like, all the trees are frosty and everything. <laughs> okay. Well, just at my dad's here. I come here quite often to drop off proxy when I go into work. Sometimes uh do a little stuff out here, but... Oh. Just thinking of projects, stuff I could bring out to my house. Uh, pretty much everything there all has to go up there, out there. Everything on that shelf there, a few things up there. And pretty much everything there. <laughs> like, uh, so much stuff that I got to haul out. But I'm thinking I might start with the Volkswagen Doom Buggy transmission. Uh, start assembling that. I'm, I know a lot of people are waiting to do that. Uh reason why I pulled out this is I got this old stain here that we were trying to sell at a grad sale. You can see there's five cans of it there. Some of them aren't full. Uh, I think there's three matching and then two are different. I can't remember, but hmm. I got to look and see what that stuff would look like, but I am burning it for sure. But I'm thinking maybe a stain over top it, but old Volkswagen engine there. <laughs> But I got a couple MS-200 chainsaws that I might actually bring out there and play around with. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Again, it's probably a boring video for you guys. But, of course, with the coronavirus going around, not much else is happening. So, we'll see. But, lots of stuff in here that I can bring out there to do for projects. As of right now, I am still going to work. And, most likely, will be for a while. But... We'll see. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. Hey, the old snapper racing tractor. Yeah, that's still here. <laughs>